I really don't care if I get good light or bad light. I'm just so happy to be able to get back out into the landscape and explore once more. into the landscape after nearly 12 weeks of lockdown. It feels great. It's incredible to be back out here and you can see behind me you've got Ballycotton Lighthouse. It's one that I've come to a number of times before and you always get some nice shots from here. So I figured, you know, first time being able to get back out, I'd go back to a place that I know and that I love and that I know that I would get some photographs as well from. It's early in the afternoon now. I'm here generally for high tide, so I said I'd come down because there are little pockets of gaps in the clouds, so you are getting a bit of light as well, uh, momentarily shining on the lighthouse behind me. I have my camera set up here on the wall. I've got my 7200 on, and I'm zoomed at around about uh, 90 mil. And I've also put on my big stopper, and I'm going for a very long exposure because you're getting a bit of wind that's blowing towards me, so hopefully we see that in the image. Not strong enough, I don't think, to be very, very prominent, but you'll still see a bit of movement in the clouds that are above it. So I'm going to crack on here, get a few more shots anyway, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get some nice photographs of my first outing back into the night. When you're using an ND filter, uh, such as this, which is the Lee Big Stopper, it's really important that you remember to focus before you apply this to the front of the lens. The reason for that is because this effectively is like a very, very strong pair of sunglasses for your lens. So it blocks out the light. It also restricts the amount of light that's going to hit the sensor, allowing you to be able to expose for longer. But when you place this in front, because it's so dark, if you look here, it likes a little black hole. You can't see through that. Um, the sensor then will not be able to pick out the contrast in the scene to enable it to be able to get focus. So focus first lock off your focus and then apply your big stopper because that enables you to get the photograph sharp. Second point to ensure you get the photograph sharp is make sure that there's no movement whatsoever on the tripod and also if you're using a long lens like me, be careful where, you're where, you're, where it's facing because otherwise the wind will catch that and you'll get minute movements as well in your longer exposure. But it's definitely a nice thing to do because when you do the long exposure then, 
It's the static element, which is the island that's behind me here, and then you've got the moving items, which is the water and the clouds, that add to that whole effect in regards to the long exposure. I'm going to take a couple of photographs here, probably a 25, 30 second exposure. I'll give you a look at those, and then I'm just going to play around the area here while I'm out and see what else I can photograph. Uh, even if the light isn't great, it's still fantastic to be out. enjoyed my afternoon here in Ballycotton. The light actually has been lovely. You can see me right now I'm being lit up again by another break in the clouds that are there and it's really creating some nice light on the island behind me and also onto the lighthouse. It's been really fun getting back out for the first day. Short trip enough, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time in this area because you are kind of limited in what you can shoot, particularly at low tide, because there is an area here where the water comes in. I have photographed there before. If you haven't seen that episode, I'll link to that here. But um, yeah, it's very interesting. A lot of fun to enable me to get back out again. And you know, get back into the sea in a place that I love. I'm going to continue my afternoon here now, but end this episode of the vlog. And I'm going to try and make most of the time that I have out. Uh, it's great to be back. Really looking forward now to seeing what Ireland again has to offer. I really did miss it. And, you know, I'm excited to see what I can get. So thanks very much for watching the episode. As always, if it's your first time on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and until the next time, just not the phone.